Noble Meyer. Noble Meyer. Uh, Noble Meyer. No, Noble. For no Noble Meyer, who's at Jesuit High School in Portland. Tell us about Noble as he climbs inside the top 10. It's 96, 98 in the first inning, like not a fastball below 96 with a slider and tons of spin and just exploding baseballs past hitters. When you talk about big, free moving, easy arm speed righties, like, this is the boxes that are checked. Right? That's Noble Meyer. Introduce yourself, like what's your name, grade, and what position do you play? Uh, I'm Noble Meyer, I'm a senior, and I'm a pitcher. That's probably where he went wrong. That's probably what happened. Bro. Hey, Jeff, you good? Because you don't need to freeze that long. The big thing is just point and go. You don't have time to freeze him that long because he's sprinting. He'll be safe. Okay? Just point the ball at him and, and, and go. My first memory is being at my old house and we had like a, a sport court in our backyard. My dad would toss up a wiffle ball and I'd hit it over the little net and ever since then I've kind of fallen in love with the sport. Um, that was back when I was in preschool maybe. What do you want people to know about you and what do you think like separates yourself from others? Um, I think most important thing would be that the I like the analytics side of baseball, like the numbers, the spin mm -hmm. rate, like the physics behind each pitch. Um, it's probably what separates me is being able to have the math on my side. Well, first thing that comes to mind what separates him is the ball coming out of his hand is just yeah. different. Uh, as you're seeing through our games, there's a lot of people coming to watch. Uh, just the explosion that comes uh, from every fastball, mm -hmm. a video game like slider that he throws. Uh, those are the first things that come to mind that everyone sees that, that are different of Noble than most arms. Uh, for me, as his teacher and also I, I, his coach, uh, I see his work ethic, mm -hmm. uh, how much he's, he puts in time when nobody's looking. Uh, he stays on task, the little things matter to him. Um, He's also just an amazing team player. Yeah. Uh, he's, he finds success in his team winning and his team uh, having a good game. And, um, that's kind of rare these days. His freshman year, he started off on the freshman baseball team. Yeah. Uh, and then COVID hit, so we didn't really get a year with him. But he came in throwing 78, 80 miles per hour, uh, tall, skinny, athletic third baseman. Mm -hmm. And I remember during tryouts, I was quickly moving him to first base because of his length, how good he was with his glove. It's a below average going into freshman year. I mean, it's throwing 78 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, but I mean, it's nothing like, no hype would f follow that, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. So you talked about the recruiting process a little bit, coming to Oregon. What other schools did you consider and how, what was that process like? Um, I had an offer from one other school and then a walk-on from another. Um, I talked to a few colleges like Washington State, Oregon State, um, Harvard momentarily and Stanford momentarily. Um, I think Oregon was the right place. Uh, coaches are great, it's close to home. Mm. Um, and also I kind of wanted to commit to a school early so I could focus on development and not have to worry about trying to show off in front of colleges, go to all yeah. those yeah, events. Totally. Right before I came to Oregon, went to an event down in Georgia, um, did way better than I would ever have thought of. Um, and they wrote an article on me, like saying like super projectable, like mm -hmm. big future. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I hadn't really got anything. Like this is a, like a national, like big, like high school ranking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I wasn't expecting, you know, the next up and coming superstar. Yeah. Uh, his freshman year, and then after COVID, we started to see some things change. I'm like, wow, this kid is, there's yeah. really something deeper in him, more in him. Um, so, yeah, he's grown a ton from when he walked on this campus to where he is now. Oh, hey, wow. Did you do it? Did you do it? it was, no, yeah, I just decided. I think that's what got you kicked yeah. out, right? Yeah. As far as the experience coaching with Mick and now with Noble, uh, it's helped me uh, how to navigate, uh, taking care of his body, 
when's the right time to pull them out in games where you know we can trust our bullpen uh, can finish a game for him so we don't wear out mm -hmm. his arm um, all the way to um, you know letting Noble know just like I had many conversations with Mick that he's a high school baseball player and let's not lose sight that you have a lot of baseball left to play after Jesuit high school yeah um, but let's also enjoy high school baseball and take pride in your batting practice take pride in, in working on your defense uh, and then obviously working on picks and bunk coverages is there someone in your life that like helps you stay grounded and keeps you like sane I guess um I'd say both my parents and then my coaches I mean they always like in a way push me to be better which always reminds me like I'm not as good as I can be yeah like I'm there's always going to be room for improvement I always see like professional players and especially with the MLB like it's a huge skill gap between like people in the MLB versus people even in college or in high school mm -hmm. so it's I'm always thinking like I'm not the best but hopefully I can be there one day it's how his family's raised him mm -hmm. to be uh, just a person who has high expectations of himself but also not take himself too serious uh, I mm -hmm. think he does a really good job of staying focused academically uh, school matters to him, mm -hmm. um, so I don't think I have to do much as far as keeping him humble. Again, what I try to do is keep him from being feeling overwhelmed mm -hmm. with uh, all the attention he's getting, and again, try to remind him this is a fun game. Yeah, you only have a couple weeks left of baseball at Jesuit. Let's let's make sure we enjoy these last few weeks as a high school baseball player. So as the season's coming to a close, like what are you looking forward to? as it's coming? Uh, another day of practice. Yeah. I really enjoy practicing with these kids. Mm -hmm. um, so as this, the tournament's a, a one and done, if you lose, you're done. Yeah. So it's not like you can just say, oh, we'll, we'll catch up the next day. It's, our goal is let's have another practice together. Let's find another reason that we can celebrate being around each other. It's a yeah. real strong group of kids. They all um, have a real tight brotherhood. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to keep giving them that opportunity to, to be together for one more day. <laughs> Hopefully win a state championship. It's really all I'm concerned with right now. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. You got any questions, Jace?